Hey guys, Eric Ani from MechanicalHub.com. I'm here with Jason Fleming at the Noritz booth. Jason, let's talk about the EZ Series Pro tankless water heater. Sure. Uh, guys, if you want to see more content from AHR 2025 here in Orlando, I'm going to be all over the show, so check it out on YouTube. Jason, take it away. What are we looking at here? All right, so this is our newest, greatest uh, tankless water heater. A couple of the features and benefits that we like to talk about a lot are our top mount water connections. Gives the installer a good, clean look but also um, the speed in which it can be installed is much, much better being on top because um, typically you'd have to plumb all the way down around to the bottom. Yeah. So that gives it a, a much easier installation. Another great feature on the uh, Easy Series Pro is the flexibility of the, install of the venting, right? Right. The venting can go, um, depending on what climate that you're in, you know, you can put an outdoor cap on it, you can run the DV, you can go SV, and you can even run two inch polypropylene through the existing B-Vent, um, which gives you a lot of flexibility on the installation. Um, and then our warranty, 25 year warranty, best in the industry. And uh, we're extremely proud of that. I think it's really cool. So I've pointed out in past videos, guys, about the top connection. So retrofit right away, yep. that's where this thing's gonna shine. I think so, yeah. All of, the, all of the traditional tankless models out in the market seem to be that bottom connection, like you said. You still have gas here. Yeah. You still have condensate drain there, of course. Yep. Like these are the basics. Your cord's gonna be coming out of there, but yep. hanging this on the wall, way less time monkeying around, securing and routing piping to the I bottom, so, yeah. only just to connect it. So having that connection point on top is really nice. Makes sense. I like that. Yep. You, you, you talked about the venting, uh, the application like availability, like just different venting systems. So you can do room, indoor air, room air. Yep. You can do single pipe or yep. direct vent. Yep. And then like you said, the flexible kits and stuff like that. Yep. That's huge. I know as a, as a remodeling contractor, that saves me a lot of headache yep. because I have one unit that can be applied to a lot more different installations. And another unit that we have that comes with this is our bundled kit, which is the EZTR um, kit that we have. We have that in a, a 40 gallon replacement, a 50 gallon replacement, and a 75 gallon replacement. So if that installer just wants the easy answer to everything, that kit is the solution for it. Yeah, because you get the venting right in the box. Comes with that 25 feet of uh, two inch polypropylene. Um, comes with the isolation valve. So anything that you would need at installation, you have it right in that kit. You mentioned already, but your warranty is significant because it's really nobody else in the industry is touching it. Yep. It's 25 years on the heat exchanger. Yep. That's a long time. Then finally, I know it's going to be asked, so let's talk about recirculation. Sure. Do you offer tankless with recirculation built in? We do. And that's, so this is our kind of our uh, flagship heater, right? Is yeah. the Easy Series product. We offer the um, NRCR, which is the heater exactly like this. Connections would be on the bottom just because of the recirculation line. Comes with the pump and it offers all of the same great um, features that this unit has. It gives you the Bluetooth connectivity, which I failed to mention on the EZ series, Bluetooth connectivity on the NRCR as well. Uh, easy setup, so it's super important for these systems to be set up correctly, when you have venting runs or you have a specific termination type. No longer do you have to do those dip switches. You just set it up with your app and you're, and you're good to go. That's a huge time saver. So like the dip switches, I'm not gonna lie, they're hard to see. Yep. Sometimes you misinterpret or you're on the wrong bank of dip switches. Yep. It gets to be confusing, especially that's gonna lower the kind of the barrier of training. You're gonna have perfectly trained people installing these, yep. but it might be just one detail you don't have to worry about overlooking and it's Thank gonna you. make installation faster. Yep, and there's one more thing that I forgot to mention, which is our efficiency, right? Okay. Our efficiency is top in the industry, 98% um, efficient. So for all of the local utilities that have um, requirements for efficiencies, Norts is going to be at that top tier, which is going to give the consumers the best rebate in the industry. Absolutely. Awesome. So we're going to move on to the commercial stuff. Yep. Jason, I do appreciate your Thanks, time. Thanks, man. man. Appreciate it. All right. I'm with James here, and we're looking at the hybrid hot. This is your commercial lineup. We're going to stay tuned throughout the rest of this video. It's going to be all commercial talk and some really cool content or really cool products coming in the market. Sorry. It's been an awesome time here in your booth already. So this is hybrid hot. Now, this is... a uh, Kind of funny because it's a giant storage tank with a tankless water heater. James, what's going on with this? Well, you know, there's a ton of applications out there, Eric, with storage tanks, commercial tanks yeah. that are existing. A so, lot of restaurants and small hotels, stuff like that, right? Exactly. And so that footprint's there, contractors are comfortable with it. Yep. So we wanted to innovate a solution that is a direct tank replacement. 
So the water connections, uh, gas connections, everything on the install side is gonna be in sync with what they're used to, even the, the exhaust flowing. But the real benefits, uh, Eric, are putting the tankless heater on the external uh, part of the tank we're removing the thermal stress yeah. that typically is occurring with the design of a commercial tank water heater. So we also have paired it with a cement line tank, which is also going to last longer. Um, we have a 10 year warranty on both the tankless uh, heat exchangers and on the tank itself. And that's a commercial warranty, which is significant because those are typically derated versus other, you know, like your regular residential warranty, things like that. Yeah. The commercial application is tough. So this is built in a, be, be like a drop in, uh, would you say it like emergency replacement? Yeah. So because it's going to give you better performance, is that why this kind of product was thought up? It's like a Frankenstein kind of engineering it experiment is. that it really is. came out good for you guys. Yeah. Because now you're able to put more water out for bigger like dump loads, things yeah. like that. I'm thinking like ski chalets and stuff yeah. like that where people are coming in. Maybe you've got condo building that has one point of source for hot water, this is gonna be able to handle big loads like that. Yeah, and that are all kind of at one time, right? Yeah, so dish machines as well, like yep. in the restaurant space, um, hotels have on-premise laundry. You know, we, we would love to put a, a bank of tankless on that wall. Sure. But in an emergency replacement, time is money. That business is like, hey, I wanna look at going to a higher efficient tankless technology, get the better warranty, take the stress off of the tank, um, and also the benefit of having a tank is that, you know, you do have hydronic separation. So in that direct tank replacement to a hybrid hot, you don't have to be um, as meticulous of identifying like a cross connection or a shower cartridge that's stuck um, or, or data. Well, this is gonna stuff. handle a wider range of flow rates. Yep. Especially when you're talking about showering, things like that, because now with these low flow fixtures, that can really fool like banks of, you know, high horsepower tankless production. Yeah. It can be hard to produce just the right amount on those low flow rates and the off kind of peak times and demand. That's a, yeah, great point. This is very cool. So you've got another tankless, like new product kind of uh, rack in a box. I want to see that. Yeah. So where's that at? Yeah. So, you know, we, we're really showing all of our domestic hot water solutions. Um, this is what we call our commercial manifold kit, CMK. It comes in a side-by-side -side configuration that would be wall hung. This is literally the box, um, you know, with a hand truck or two guys. This could be hauled into the mechanical room. We're not always afforded, uh, you know, the luxury of a big, wide open, straight, you know, doorway. You have to go down a hallway, yeah. down some stairs, or there's not a service elevator, or maybe you want to use a rack, a racking system but you know you have to shut down the street, get a crane involved to get it up there. Well, you got penthouse mechanical rooms, stuff like that. You got rooftop access. You could actually haul this up in that way, right? Exactly. So the heaters would haul up. Um, this template is really revolutionary because what it does is from two units to four units, this is our two unit configuration. Um, the manifold kit includes these brackets for the manifolds to mount to but you're able to hang this level, hang the template, level it, um, and then hang the units on it. And really, you know, in half the time or less, the contractor now is able to take, you know, a manifold, multiple tankless water heaters in that space. You're saving time again, saving money, you do more jobs, more projects, um, and get the facility back into hot water quicker. So this is really for that emergency replacement um, solution. Uh, you know, we have other solutions that, you know, are more planned spec or planned replacement, but hey, I have a tank, I wanna go do a multi-tankless uh, solution. We have that manifold in the box and we have the heaters there that are easy to transport in and put together. It's worth noting too, guys, that this is actually available for like a floor standing model too, right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't we, have to be uh, mounted on the wall. No. It's the same setup, different rack, right? Yeah, yep. Okay, freestanding. A lot more flexible then because then you're not reliant on wall space. Exactly. That's fantastic. So yeah, wall is two to four units. So you could do a two unit. SS would be side by side two, side by side three, or side by side four. We have the, the floor standing um, CRK right over here. Okay. And so this is the same type of setup, just different engineering with the rack system, right? Exactly. Okay. So we, we have the manifolds again. 
This is going to be our back-to-back -back manifold kit. So okay. the manifolds would come in a box exactly like you saw over there. Um, the rack would come in another a box, and that's called our CRK, our commercial rack kit. Okay. And there's a base. So the base comes with two vertical beams and then two cross members, so two of these. Oh, I see that. See. These are adjustable cross members. Exactly. So okay. this um, has the ability to pull these pins out. This one's always a little tougher. Let's see. So pull this out like that? Yeah. Okay. So it comes where you could do two units back to back. So this post would be here. Okay. Or you could go up to four units with one base kit. Um, the other cool thing is we have an add on. Let's say you have a job that's five, six, seven, eight units. You can we just continue going down continue the line. here, it would come with another vertical post. And then more manifolds. And then more or manifolds. different manifold kit. Yeah, you would get another back-to-back -back manifold kit. Um, these come with uh, couplings and also caps, so we could actually pair them together and then expand all the way up to eight units Okay. Um, with that add-on kit. Again, so, so this is just an alternative to the wall mount. This is more of a emergency replacement because it's real modular you're just looking at the manifold and racking kits exactly. and then you're adding the tankless to it exactly now the next stop though we, we can set this down yeah. this is really cool so the next stop though is more of an engineered application mm -hmm. and that's right here yeah what is this system because this is super impressive now again another kind of pre-made manifold or racking system correct yeah this is our total tankless solution okay um tts synergy series so if you have a planned replacement, um, there are certain areas uh, where this could be at a, a distributor, um, but you know, two to three week lead time, we could customize a total tankless solution. It comes from two to six units, um, any configuration that you want, either a straight tankless solution or what we're showing here is tankless with storage. So um, the, the most dynamic thing about this is with simply a wheel kit, this is designed to go through a mechanical door opening. Yeah. Place it against the wall, bolt it to the floor. Now you have one point of connection on top that's water, power, gas, condensate. We've already put all the power into uh, the breaker box here. Okay. So we've even streamlined that for the electrical, um, you know, facilitating that and planning that sometimes is difficult, uh, especially when you have recirculation and a system pump and the controls that we should be utilizing, you know, to maximize the And efficiency. all of that is done on your end in the manufacturing side of things. So this is going to ship as one unit. Yeah, on one That's skid. fantastic. Yep. So this is, I mean, we see four units here. You, this display has this ECM pump built into it. Now this is going to be connected to a large storage tank, like what we saw with the hybrid system, yeah. right? Yeah. So what does that tank do? I mean, you said you could do this in all the tank lists. But I'm guessing that that big storage tank becomes now a buffer in this system, right? It does. Really takes care of multiple flow rates, recirc, things like that. Exactly, and you get the benefit of hydronic separation. So you have a battery of hot water there. Um, so if you have an existing boiler okay. and a storage tank, um, you could put this in place, BTU for BTU, upgrade to 98% thermal efficiency. Um, but what this will do is this will modulate based off of what the building is drawing off of that tank. So if they're only washing their hands or there's a couple showers going on, let's say it's a small, you know, a four story hotel, um, you know, maybe two units will kick on, one unit will kick on um, because that ECM pump is gonna modulate up and down and really tap into the turndown ratio, the modulation aspect of the tankless heaters instead of a fixed speed pump. Because a lot of guys have been doing tankless with yep. storage yep. and they'll put the aquastat in the tank Hey, when it drops temp, kicks on that pump, we're recovering as quickly as we can. This is designed to maximize efficiency, but Keep also- Keep it running longer, but with only the amount of energy needed, really, is what that comes down to. Exactly, so you get both benefits there. And then if you do have a, 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 a dump load that's say 30 gallons per minute, this system could do 16 to 20 gallons per minute of 140 degree water. Let's say temporarily for five, 10 minutes, there's 30 gallon per minute demand. We would size, of course, to make sure that we don't tip over on our temperature on the tank. But what we do is we, we set this up at a higher temperature, 160. This is set up at 155. We route, we've already manifolded the piping. So 20 GPM will go through here. 10 will go into the bottom of the tank where we're uh, injecting into the tank. We're not gonna tip underneath 140 degrees to the building. So if there's a temporary peak uh, load, 
um, we're not going to lose temperature and we're also not going to lose pressure because we've already allowed for bi-directional piping. Um, so the water is going to follow the path of least resistance. And instead of forcing it all through this, we can maintain that hydronic separation to the building. Therefore, you know, you're not trying to find that cross connect because, you know, if it's an existing building, we all know there's a cartridge, there's a mixing yeah. dot, there's something yeah. that's, that, that's going to need to be um, resolved if you applied straight tankless to that system. So you kind of get the benefit of tankless and storage on a skid mounted system, wheel it right in the mechanical room, one point of connection, water, power, gas, and recirc. Um, and again, two to six units is our standard offering. We've done projects up to 24 units. So it'd come in, it's modular again. So we would have a rack that has the brains on it with, uh, with the controls and the pumps and heaters. Then we might have a, a secondary rack with another six units. Okay. And then we could we could expand from there so that you know you're not shipping it or trying to ship it is is something or get it down a hallway um, when it's super long. That's cool, James. That's awesome. I do appreciate your time, man. I've learned so much already. Yeah, thanks, Guys, this stuff is awesome. And if you haven't already, check out Nords' website. They're sharing tons of information. You can get in touch with them and their crew to talk about. Uh, the the engineered products, of course, all of the off the shelf stuff is available right now. And I want to say thank you for watching the video so far. Stay tuned on our YouTube channel. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe, and watch for more content here from HR 2025 in Orlando. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.